What's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Brian Noonan. I've been selling on Amazon for about two years now and I've launched eight successful FBA products. And in today's video, I want to share with you why I think now is harder than ever to be an Amazon seller, but it's not all uh, gray and gloomy and bad news. There are some good pieces of advice and news I can share with you in today's video, but Amazon FBA has become um, pretty saturated with certain types of sellers, and I want to help you navigate that and give you my best tips and advice for how to succeed on Amazon in 2020 going forward, what types of products should you be looking for, how to set yourself apart in the market, all of that I'm gonna share in today's video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button. Let's just get a bunch of comments and a bunch of likes on this video so I can do some more giveaways. It helps uh, support me, helps support my channel. And so I would like that if you just uh, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already, helps the YouTube algorithm and helps support my channel. For content like this, on my channel I share course level uh, information that others would be charging for for those who are not re yet ready to invest in a course or don't have the money to afford a $1,000 or $2,000 course. And so let's get into today's video going over why now is potentially harder than ever to become an Amazon FBA seller and what to do about it. Coming up. All right, guys, welcome inside my computer. Thank you for watching today's video. We're going to get right into it. I've got this little whiteboard uh, put up and drawn out so we can talk about a few things here. Some really important uh, things and, and uh, topics that you should be aware of if you're just getting started on Amazon. I want to address why now is potentially harder than ever to get started selling on Amazon. There's a lot of obstacles and challenges that are going to come your way and I want you to be prepared and know how to deal with those as a new entrepreneur and business owner and shift your mindset so that you're ready to overcome these challenges and succeed with your product and make a ton of money on Amazon in 2020 and going forward. So I have this little chart grow, uh, drawn out here and I want to talk about these three sections right here. So the first one, this E.A, the LTAS and the GRQ. Let's break this down. So what does this mean? So there are three really types of Amazon sellers that I see selling on Amazon right now every day. And we'll talk about Chinese sellers and drop shippers later on in the video because those are threats too. But the first one here is the early adopters. These are Amazon sellers who maybe have launched one product. It went really, really well. They made a lot of money, but they didn't, they got lucky. They didn't think long term. They didn't have a business mindset. They didn't think about how they're going to build out a brand on Amazon. And they, you can see right here on this growth chart. So this is early adopters of Amazon FBA. You know, back in 2012, 13, 14, 15 even, you could just find a product on Amazon and pretty much launch it, a very similar one, and make a lot of money. But things have changed. The uh, Amazon algorithm is more advanced than it ever has been. Amazon wants only top, the best, highest quality products sold on its website. And so we've got to abide by their rules and regulations and uh, launch a product that stands out and takes care of your target customer and your target audience very, very well. If you can do that, if you can brand your product well, if you can have some nice graphics done, some really good photos of your product, you'll stand out in the marketplace and you'll make sales and give the customer every reason to buy your product over your competitors. So the early adopters, they focus on trends, fast cash. Um, they, they, they don't put much effort into branding and differentiating. They go after short-term gains. Where can I get in? You know, season, seasonally products. I'm not totally against seasonal products, but these type of sellers are just gonna launch one product and they're done. They didn't make a ton of money maybe. Maybe they made a lot of money and they don't know how they did it. They just got lucky and they're gonna try again but fail. Or they launch one product and it doesn't do well, so then they're just gonna quit. And I uh, hope that's not you. The next type of seller is the long-term Amazon seller. This is who has a long-term business mindset and strategy for succeeding on Amazon. You know, I cover a lot of different angles of how to be uh, the best Amazon FBA seller you can be on my channel. 
So definitely uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit that notification bell down below because I release weekly videos and on topics that are most relevant to us Amazon sellers and what's working inside my business. Long-term Amazon sellers, hopefully this is the majority of us, uh, myself included, and you watching. Hopefully this is you. you think, you're thinking long-term. This is going to be a long-term play. This is going to be a business that you're setting up now. You're going to put in a lot of upfront work, you know, doing product research, sourcing the best, high, highest quality products, uh, you know, negotiating with suppliers and getting it to Amazon, branding it really well, doing awesome product photography, creating an amazing product listing, and then launching and creating a really good buying experience for your customers. That's always gonna work, that's never gonna go out of fashion. Uh, creating a really high quality product, branding it really well, having awesome photos and an awesome listing, and the product takes care of your customers and it's improved you've innovated and improved on all the things that your competitors were getting negative reviews on that's always going to be a smart strategy so this is the long-term business strategy maybe you're going to build out one brand with one two or three products under one brand and then you're going to expand and launch another brand and one or two or three products under that brand and you're going to be in this for the long term now i'm not saying you can't make five ten thousand twenty thousand dollars in one month with your amazon fba business that is possible but it's very rare and it takes a lot of upfront capital to get going. So more likely, I'm seeing my students and new products for myself generating anywhere between you know two and eight thousand dollars a month in profit from uh, one product per product and per product launch. So the, these products are still out there. Uh, check out some of my other videos on the channel. I've got a ton on product research. Is the GRQ? This is the Get Rich Quick Sellers. But Amazon FBA, they think they can just come up with a little bit of money. You know, maybe they're going to do drop shipping, and they think they can get away with that. But it's totally against terms of service on Amazon. So don't do drop shipping, please. Um, these are the sellers that are saturating the markets. They're oversaturating the markets with the same product as everyone else. They're not differentiating. They're getting in. They're opening a seller account. They're just finding a product that's doing really, really well, and they're you know getting a crappy product from China and sending it into the Amazon warehouse and launching it, not taking care of their customer, not thinking how can they improve, differentiate, and brand uh, the product really well. They're just saturating the market. And this is where the problem lies because these sellers are uh, starting businesses every single day like this, and maybe they don't all intend to um, just send in you know, a, a non-branded same product as everyone else. Maybe they don't know any better. Hopefully this isn't you, and if it is you where you think you can just launch the same product as everyone else, uh, hopefully this video changes your mind into thinking as an early adopter and a long-term, half and half, an early adopter and a long-term business mindset where this is a real business that you can grow long-term, uh, launch multiple products, and do extremely, extremely well. My FBA business generates any, anywhere between um, eight and twelve thousand dollars a month re reoccurring profit. So uh, GRQ, they are get rich quick sellers. They are following the shiny object syndrome, where they think, oh wow, Amazon FBA. I see the person driving the Lamborghini and in the big house, and they say it's so easy that I can be making money in one month. And that's just usually not the case. So make sure you are doing your research on your products, you're validating you know, your product ideas, you're validating the market is a good market to get into and uh, offering a high quality product that customers are gonna love and you'll do very, very well. And I'm gonna talk about here in just a minute how we deal with the get rich quick sellers, the early adopters who are into just trends and maybe they launch a product and get lucky and then take off and those are your, that maybe that's one of your competitors where they just launched one product and it just, took off for some reason you don't know how they're getting all this traffic you don't know how they're getting all these reviews and uh, it's their first product so we want to combine um, a little bit uh, we don't want to do this okay we do not want to be there's not even a chart for this one the early adopters they launch one product and their sales right here are going to go up they get lucky on a product they make money um, whatever they did maybe they differentiated a little bit and then their sales are going to slowly kind of taper down and maybe they ran out of stock and can't get ranked again and they just run out of gas and don't make any money. Now, we have long-term Amazon sellers. Hopefully that's most of all of you watching, including myself. Long-term Amazon sellers are focused on the long-term. 
They uh, know when you launch a product on Amazon, you're going to have to spend money in the beginning to uh, rank on PPC, uh, like Manny Chat, where you can set up, or Rebate Key, or Zon Ranker, where you can set up like to get to uh, do like 50 rebates for launch, get a lot of traffic to your listing, have them make full purchase, full price sales, and then you have a, an auto follow up where they get a rebate or a refund, and then ask them for a review. Those strategies have been proven to work. As much traffic and as many sales as you can get in the first two to four weeks, the honeymoon period, the better you'll do in rank. And so uh, we need to have a combination of these two mindsets where we know we can't just do trendy products. We know it's not meant for fast cash. We can launch one product and make a lot of money, but we also are going to want to focus on this type of seller who um, plans every little step out, knows the downside, offers a top quality product, and this is gonna equal a business worth investing in that's gonna continue to make you money every single month. Okay, then we have to talk about um, Chinese sellers. So I don't know, you can go on Amazon and look at any product out there. There is going to be a lot of Chinese sellers. How do we deal with Chinese sellers? How do we deal with the get rich quick um, sellers that are out there? And how do we deal with those sellers that just are launching copy, uh, me too, copy products, saturating the markets, you know, offering low quality products. They're just making, that's the problem with this type of seller, this get rich quick seller, is these people are kind of ruining it for everyone. They are, you know, launching very low quality products and that may be why Amazon is getting more strict on reviews. Amazon is getting more strict on um, who can open a seller account. They are constantly updating their terms of service is because these get rich quick sellers are entering the market and offering the worst quality product and saturating the markets. So how do we deal with these types of sellers, the uh, sellers who maybe launched a product and got lucky and then us as this type of seller focused on a long-term business that's going to make us money every single month and growing out a brand. How we're going to do that is we are going to do a couple of things. So the first one is um, when you come across a product idea, like for instance, here's two products that you just should not, absolutely should not sell. A snore strap is a product you should just not sell. This is an oversaturated product. There's a ton of sellers in this. This has been around forever. You can see here, like they all look pretty much the same, black with blue, um, black, blue, black, black, um, black and blue, black with blue, black with blue, just over and over and over, black and blue, black and blue, black and blue, is the same exact product over and over and over. So this is what would be considered an oversaturated market. There's too many sellers with the exact same product, and there's really no way to differentiate yourself or innovate and offer a premium product that customers are gonna love. That's one product that is just oversaturated. Another one, Posture Corrector. And I'll show you here in just a minute on how you would check for oversaturation, too many Chinese sellers. How you would check for Chinese sellers is um, look at the brand name. So if you open up, like this is Amazon's choice right here. Let's see what the brand name looks like. A lot of times you can tell by the brand name or the business name that it's a Chinese seller, or you can just run X-Ray and look at all the brand names combined. So this is another product that is just the same as everyone else. It's a Me Too product, and there's no way you can enter this market and take market share and do extremely well with this product. So I look at the brand name, so Joy Sharper, maybe that sounds Chinese. Brand names here and tell if it sounds like a Chinese seller. How you're gonna succeed is if you're doing product research with the methods like I teach on this channel, and you're doing you know, product research correctly and you're analyzing keywords to make sure there's a good search volume, that the market's not too competitive, there's not more than five pages of relevant results of the same exact product, you have a product where the main keyword has at least 3,000 searches or higher per month, you have a product where the average BSR is 75,000 or less, those types of things, and then you have five or more of the top 10 listings with under 150 reviews, that's the first step. If your product meets all that criteria, that's awesome. And then here's a couple other tips on what you should do. So first you should come into your Amazon seller account and you should type in um, snore chin strap. Then I went to catalog, add products, and then I'm typing it in here. And what you guys need to do here is go through this and open up all of these. If this was your product, what you'd wanna do is open up all of these 
and you can see who's waiting on a shipment from China. You can see who's recently launched. And what you don't want to see is a ton of sellers with thousands and thousands of reviews or a ton of sellers with low reviews, like very low reviews. That would indicate that the market is either oversaturated or too competitive. So we have this one here, 27 reviews. We have uh, this one here has 1,000 reviews. And we have this one here that has 250 reviews uh, with very bad star rating, only a 2.5% star rating. But you would go through this Amazon catalog, open up each one of these, and you don't wanna see a ton that have like under 50 reviews. That means they've recently launched a lot that say in stock on or currently unavailable. And you don't want to see a ton of sellers that have thousands and thousands of reviews because these are the sellers that you're going to be having to compete with. So does that make sense? So you don't want to see a bunch of low reviews listings or products and you don't want to see a bunch of high thousands and thousands of reviews listings because that signals that it could be oversaturated to competitive. So you can check the catalog here for how many sellers there are um, and hopefully not see a ton with low reviews or a ton with high reviews. The next thing we can do is we can go into Facebook review groups. So if you're not familiar, um, there's, re there's your groups for Amazon sellers. Hopefully you're a part of to learn, but there's also a ton of Amazon review groups. Okay. So Amazon review groups, these are sellers who are either trying to get rid of their product. They've recently launched and they can't make any sales. And so they go into these review groups and offer giveaways or free products in exchange for reviews, which is against terms of service. And you have to be very, very careful because Amazon, I've heard, monitors these groups. So you do not want to see your product inside these review groups over and over. And you can go through these websites, um, all these different ones here. So Dollar Rio, I, I Review Home, Product Testing Group, Dollar Review Club, AMA Lovers Community, Better Discounts. You can go through these here and um, hopefully you do not see your product inside these review groups, okay? So this would be another place where you would want to check and make sure you do not see your product in these review groups over and over and over, just like in the Facebook uh, review groups. Not want to see your product like that posture correction thing and this snore, anti-snore chin strap, I'm sure is in here a ton. Uh, last one um, that I'd recommend is just going through jumpsin.com. This is a place uh, that Amazon sellers run giveaways and discounts and promotions. And you do a search on jumpsin and rebate key, and hopefully you don't see your product over and over and over here, okay? So I hope you guys learned a lot in how to just be successful selling on Amazon in 2020. Um, I thought this video would be very, very important to help you succeed going forward and just know the challenges that you may face with these sellers who are just trying to get rich quick. They launch just one product and they get lucky and they think they can do that over and over and over. Um, but we want to be right in the middle in a combination of those first two that uh, has a long-term business strategy. We focus on our customer and providing a highest quality product that we can. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Really enjoyed making it for you. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and I answer all those myself. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you inside the next one.